Did you know that just like working out your biceps or triceps, you can also exercise your penis? It all comes down to understanding how to do it and what it involves. Let's dive and explore this further, especially for men. Firstly, let's discuss testosterone. It's a hormone that defines masculinity and is significantly higher in men compared to women. Testosterone plays a crucial role in libido, energy levels, muscle building, bone health, and even mood stability. However, as men age, testosterone levels naturally start to decline, typically around 1% per year starting around age 35 with the highest levels usually in the 20s. If you maintain good health practices, the decline in testosterone can be moderate around 15% by the age 50 which isn't alarming. But factors like stress, obesity, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, poor sleep habits, and smoking can accelerate this decline starting from age 35. This is where lifestyle choices come into play. A healthy diet, regular exercise, sufficient sleep, and stress management not only contribute to better erections but also help in maintaining optimal testosterone levels. So, when we talk about exercising in relation to testosterone, it's all about understanding how our lifestyle impacts hormone levels and overall well-being. Now, let's proceed. The penis contains a significant number of testosterone receptors in its muscle, specifically in the corpus cavernosum. Think of these receptors like locks waiting for the key, with testosterone being the key itself and the testosterone receptors acting as the lock. When testosterone binds to these receptors in the corpus cavernosum, it triggers a relaxation response in the muscle, aiding in the process of blood filling the penis. As men age beyond 35 years old, they experience a gradual decline in testosterone levels, leading to a reduction of about 1% per year in these receptors. This decline leaves the receptors signaling for more testosterone as they don't have enough function optimally. Over time, insufficient testosterone can lead to the smooth muscle in the corpus cavernosum starting to atrophy or shrink. This process can also result in the development of scar tissue, a condition known as fibrosis which is a natural part of aging associated with reduced testosterone production. In a visual comparison, you can observe the difference between a flaccid penis or non-erect and an erect penis. In the flaccid state, the muscle may appear slightly shrunk and while the blood vessels are present, they aren't fully ignored. However, in the erect state, the arteries enlarge, filling the corpus cavernosum or penis muscle with blood leading to a visibly larger and firmer erection. When the corpus cavernosum fills with blood during an erection, it puts pressure on the veins that are outside the tunica albuginea, the thin film around the penis, similar to how a sausage is wrapped in thin film. This pressure from the engorged corpus cavernosum compresses the veins, helping to maintain the erection. However, as men age and the muscle in the corpus cavernosum atrophies or develops scar tissue, it doesn't expand as much when filled with blood. This reduced expansion means there isn't enough pressure to compress the veins effectively, leading to a condition called venous leak, which is a common cause of erectile dysfunction or ED. In this situation, the muscle isn't expanding adequately to maintain a firm erection. Understanding this mechanism highlights the importance of exercising the penis to promote healthy muscle function and prevent issues like venous leak and ED. Now, how you can exercise your penis. To exercise the penis, you can use a penis pump. When you insert your penis into the pump, it creates negative suction which helps induce an erection by drawing blood into the penis. This erection is filled with oxygenated blood which expands the penis muscle and makes it more flexible. Similar to how working out at the gym brings blood and oxygen to your muscles, using a penis pump can prevent muscle atrophy and scar tissue development in the penis. It's like doing a bicep curl to bring blood and oxygen to the muscle, promoting health and flexibility. Using a penis pump can contribute to penis health and maintenance. When you use the pump to draw enough blood into the penis, it simulates micro tears in the tissue. As your body heals these micro tears, the muscle tissue can become slightly larger and healthier. This process can help prevent muscle atrophy and maintain overall penile health. 
As men age and experience lower testosterone levels, along with potentially reduced sexual activity, it becomes crucial to actively maintain penile health. Regular sexual activity, which includes having erections, is a form of exercise for the penis. However, if you're not having as many erections or engaging in less sexual activity, you're essentially not exercising your penis as much. This is where the concept of use it or lose it comes into play. However, with the availability of penis pumps, you now have a tool to exercise your penis on your own. Using a penis pump allows you to stimulate erections and maintain penile health even if you're not engaging in as much sexual activity as before. I recommend using the penis pump at least three times a week, ideally every day if possible. However, it's important to not overdo it. Limit each session not more than 10 minutes twice a day to prevent penile fatigue. Even if you don't have erectile dysfunction or ED, using a penis pump is beneficial as a form of maintenance and prevention. It helps keep your penis healthy by stimulating blood flow and exercising the penile tissue, similar to how going to the gym maintains muscle mass and overall health. Prevention and maintenance are key. It's better to take proactive measures to keep your penis healthy rather than waiting until issues like ED, Peyronie's disease, or shrinkage arise. I firmly believe in the importance of proactive care and prevention. You can treat your penis like you would your body at the gym using a penis pump. Combining this with techniques like nitrous oxide, a penis ring for constriction, and traction device can be beneficial. You typically take nitrous oxide about 30 minutes to an hour before using the penis pump. Then during your pumping session, aim for around 10 minutes before deflating. Additionally, you can use a penis ring around the base to maintain the blood flow for around 10 minutes. I hope you find these tips helpful and please let me know your thoughts if you have any questions. If you enjoy the content, I'd appreciate your support by liking and subscribing to my channel.